hello welcome back to my youtube channel this is your boy dr rogers i just got off work and i want us to talk about um, the second tip for applying for scholarships yesterday i did a video on the first tip and let me sit down let's talk about this before i can keep and then go home so today we're going to talk about um the second tip as far as applying for scholarships are concerned yeah yesterday i talked about the first tip if you haven't watched about uh, watch that video please go there and make sure you do watch the video and you can share with anybody who is looking forward to studying abroad on scholarships and the first tip was that anybody even if you have the minimum requirement you can have a scholarship this do not disqualify yourself do not tell yourself that it is just meant for first class student or top students in your class you can have it as far as you have the minimum criteria for that so if this is your first time on my channel make sure we hit on the subscription bell or subscription button and check out on my channel and stay connected for i have lots of issues a lot to share with you and by the way let me reintroduce myself i am dr rogers a multiple scholarship winner so based on experience i don't speak on on the fact that i heard that or like we commonly say back home that i hear say nope i speak based on experience i use my own self like an example so the second tip for today which i will be talking about is the fact that you have to read the eligibility criteria they are always written on any scholarship quote me anywhere anytime be it Chevlin scholarship commonwealth korean um japanese um german in other words that scholarship be it any kind they will always tell you the criteria or the kind of students they need um to be awarded that scholarship they don't just put it there and that will guide you on how to write your motivation letter no matter how you use big language big grammar your motivation statement should always revolve around the eligibility or the kind of uh, candidate they're looking for for example let's go to let's uh, talk about the Chevlin. an example is a Chevlin scholarship which is looking for people who have working experience so you go ahead and start writing your your motivation letter that you're writing this to to say that you're just graduating from school and you do not have any working experience bam you will not be awarded that scholarship but do not lie do not lie it's very very important you put that in mind do not lie so eligibility criteria are very very important it's just it just takes you two minutes to look at uh what are the eligible candidates that are looking for to and before we continue let me show you around um knu campus you can see here um yeah this is the uh, the center for people who want to start new businesses in uh, probably in korea it's called startup center motivate anybody who's looking forward to uh, starting up a startup business in korea anyway let's get back to business before i can keep showing you if you want to see more about knu campus you can check out some many video about right? that it's a very very beautiful campus yeah like i'm t um the quite the tip i'm talking about today is the, the fact that you need to check the eligibility cl criteria you know this is something that a lot of people just you know they're like oh i'm going to apply for for example i'm going to apply for the that scholarship i've heard about it and they just go on and you know write their motivation letter and take motivation letter which they use for let's say for the korean scholarship and they want to apply for that each year this scholarship board updates they would update their eligibility criteria sorry for the cars sorry guys those are campus buses uh, buses which move on campus to pick up students from one spot to the other yeah so let's keep going um it's like it's very noisy here yeah like i was saying they do upload these criteria and it's meant to guide students because they are aware of the fact that a lot of students will not read you know there is a common saying uh for example in cameroon where i come from if you want to hide gold hide it in papers so people do people these days do not really read so 
Uh, it's very important you reach um, the eligibility criteria. So if you love what I'm doing here, make sure you hit on the subscription bell. Oh, and by the way, I have good news. Check out my channel this weekend. My friend, uh, Mr. Eve from Rwanda, we connected on LinkedIn. He is going to be sharing uh, first-hand experience on how to get scholarships in Austria. <coughs> sorry and czech republic so if you're looking forward to studying austria and czech republic or on admission make sure you do check that out so i'll leave here and take care make sure you hit on the subscription bell or button and stay connected peace out